Grab a couple of hand weights, wrist weights, or two ankle weights, any combination of that. Or you can do it with body weight too. Get ready for the caffeine replacer. Okay, I'm not saying it replaces coffee, but I am saying it will wake you right up and work you out too. Let's begin. Reach down, grab any hand weights you have, and let's begin with a warm-up yoga shred. This one's called Schwing Batter. Reach up with your weights, and like you're hitting a baseball, just hit across. I'm reaching up to the right and hit across. Whichever side you wanna start with is great. And this is core stabilizing, arm warming. You're stepped wide into temple position. Feet turned out, take a deep breath in and hold across. Hold for core strength through our 10 second rest. And we've got 20 seconds action, 10 seconds for eight rounds. You've already done one. Same side, reach it up and slow-mo like you are hitting a home run in whatever stadium <laughs> is your home team. Yes, Yankee Stadium for me. Uh, hi, if you're from Boston, and <laughs> sorry, you're welcome. Exhale, boom, just reach it over and hold. Hold the core strength, deep breath in, slide those hips and knees back. To the other side now, start with the other side and swing around. Inhale, slow motion, like you're moving through molasses, and as you invigorate your lower body, and core as you exhale through the motion and really enliven that core strength it'll start waking you up more and more hold breathe exhales nice and firming for the abs keep those hips back knees want to collapse in let's go again inhale and swing reach and swing now instead of being so serious about it real easy to do that with weights and intensity have fun with it. Act like you're a kid, playing ball. Ha! Inhale, you can even ha it out to get those abs involved. Hold over to one side and breathe and envision that ball going up into the high stands and everyone cheers. All right, come back to center. Reach up to the sky this time. Ha! Say ha as you bring fists of fire down to your hips. Inhale, reach. Ha! Ha! Use the earth center of your heels to press in and up, rise up. <sighs> if that's a lot for your shoulders, you can always do it forward like I'm doing now. Good, hold up or hold into fists. Just hold this stance in your temple pose as you work that low body. Now exhale down, <sighs> inhale, <sighs> <sighs> use physics, use your feet pressing down, to invigorate and lift your energy upward. Ha, make your hands and arms lighter. Ha, and as you come down, you use that ha to abs, invigorate and control the motion. Either come down into temple, arms up or fist down just for a breath in and out. Let's go one more time. Inhale, reach up. Ha, ha, ha. Breathe it out. We've got a final round coming up. It's just a fun round to keep you lit up. If your heart rate is rising, breathe through the nose or mouth deeply as you need to. Either hold up, sit in temple, and hold down if you like. Slide those hips and knees back. Three, two, stay in temple if you can. Here we go. We're swinging batter one way and then the other. You're hitting those balls from all sides. Woo! You're hitting challenges out of your way and making room for solutions. Ha! Give any negativity, any drama, a good hit right out of the ballpark. Keep going ha! through our 10 seconds. Ha! Ha! A little ha for abs activation. Ha! Two, one. And that's out of there. <laughs> you did a great job. All right, come to stand. Kick your legs around, deep breath in, and exhale. Bend those knees, plant the weights down. Just circle, stretch your arms, reach it up, circle it out. Bend up one knee, and then the other. Reach to the sky, circle, stretch, get that breath in there. And then widen it, not as wide as temple, but in a nice wide squatting stance. Bend your knees, slide your hips back, grab onto your weights, and let's 
do something else that's fun. Right arm, you punch, just sweep it over towards the left, and then try to lift and touch your right knee. Back to center. Scoop it, touch it, back to center. Okay, punch it out, knee up, and back. Two and one. Now, option, you can hold out in a T to really light up your arms, or just rest, shake it out, and relax, but not a lot of rest. Come back in, same side, right side. U-shape punch, knee to elbow, and back. All right, just like that. Now, why is this the yoga shred if we're punching and batting and hitting stuff? That's because we have ferocious energy in us that sometimes needs to be properly directed. And so we use it, come back to center, arms out, stand up if you can, breathe. If that's too much, bend or lower the arms. Bend in, same side. Mm. And we are not fighting people, we're fighting negativity. We're just getting it out of there. It's a decision that we make. And you leave room for good energy to flow in when you meet your challenges and your solutions with a fierce grace and integrity. Come back to center, T and hold. Deep breaths in and out. Micro bend in those knees, hips back. Ready, final round on this side. Save arm, there we go, and lift. Now how quickly can you do it? Like a dance with the earth, the air, and your core. You reset here. You sweep it and come on up. But just think of getting all that toxic drama, any old stuff that's been weighing you down out of your space and out of your face. <laughs> Namaste. Yes. We can be fierce and yogic at the same time. Come back to center, left side, and you can wake it all up right now. Great whole body workout as well. Left side now, it's the other side. Scoop, touch the opposite knee, back to center. You shape. There you go, touch and reset. Take it slow so you kind of feel it out. And then we'll hold in that T. It's an active recovery. It's going to keep you building strong lean muscle. Come back in, reset, same side, left side this time. All right, just got four rounds on each side. Keep it simple, sassy. All right, and feel the breath. Re-stimulate that breath to be wide, to be deep, to be rhythmic. Come back to center and hold. I'll encourage you to exhale when your elbow and knee come together this time. See how that changes things with focus. Come on back so you can exhale to scoop, exhale up, back to center. All right, exhale. You can exhale one time if you want as the hand sweeps and the elbow to knee comes together, or you can just do it when the knee comes up, tee out those arms. Are you getting a little bit more awakened? <laughs> you still might want that cup of coffee, but you don't need it as much now. Come back to center. Sweep, exhale. Sweep, exhale. Try that. If you like something else better with the breath, you make it yours. It's fine. Just keep moving with me. Three, two, one. Almost done. Reach out. This time bend down into a chair position. Slide your hips back. Take a deep breath in. Can you lift those arms a tiny bit higher? Awesome work. Release all the way down. Now here in chair position with knees bent. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale. Through those fists of fire, just throw away any old energies that are getting you down. <sighs> any old fatigue. <sighs> Get the breath in there. Whole body workout. <sighs> Cardio, energy activation. <sighs> Beautiful breath, inhale, lift up. <sighs> Three more with me, inhale. Feel the earth and float up. <sighs> Two more, reach it up, really mean it. <sighs> inhale, clear the way. <sighs> And then begin to slowly come on up to mountain pose. Reach your arms to the sky and bring your fists down to your hips, fists of fire, ready to meet the day with that spark sparked and your inner fire lit up. Thank you for joining me here 
And I hope you go out there with all this energy and make this day yours. See you soon.